Today I've come to Crickback Bridge at the bottom of a steep narrow lane at the top of Chew Magna High Street. I'm meeting up with Paul, who's been very busy during the last few months, transforming the overgrown area beside the bridge. So I'm Paul and I live in Woodbine Farm up the hill. Uh, over the last few weeks I've been working on the field here. Um, Can we have a look? Let's have a look what you've been doing. So you've cleared all this single-handed? Yep, pretty much. Wow. What's your thinking? Why would you do all this? Well, it's been benignly neglected for about 30 years. Uh, you can tell I've cut down some of the old thorn trees and you can see there's like 30 years worth of rings. Um, so what, that's these or is it that's even these, bigger yeah. ones? Yeah, yeah. These are mostly thorn trees. Um, and what happens, it's just encroachment, really. The hedges, you can see there, um, they've just been neglected and the brambles come in and then the thorn trees come up and they just keep following the light, keep coming in. And this year, um, lots of people in lockdown walking through and it just got down to us literally this wide with brambles either side. Well, you can see the track, can you? Where yeah. Particularly when it's all muddy. <laughs> yeah, and it got very, very muddy and it was cu cutting up the field and actually sort of almost digging a trench. Um, so I thought, well, let's cut it back a bit. And I kind of got a bit carried away. Um, so I took it all the way back to where you can see the original hedge line is there. Yeah. Um, yeah essentially yeah. a ditch and a hedge. Um, and how, how do you plan to transform it? What's your next step? Next step. So, <laughs> So the next step. Oh, look, um, we've got people walking by. Hello, people yeah. walking by. Hello. You'll be on Chew Valley Films. Oh yes. Hello. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so really, it's to take it back to grass initially. Um, so, take up the stumps here. Well, I pulled out all the stumps because they're all sticking up, um, uh, and you can see them sticking out there. And I'm now cutting up the firewood, which I'll I'll go and put the firewood away. And then the next step is to when I've cleared the firewood, is to pull up the uh, brash, which is all brambles. Uh, really That's a technical term, brash. Brash, yeah. I haven't heard brash a, before. It's a real term yeah, think, yeah. Uh, for, for, for people who chop out bits of wood. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just clear the brash away. I'll probably end up burning that. Um, and then pull out all the bramble stumps and, and mow it, actually, for a year. Um, so that will allow any, any flowers. You can actually see celandines coming up um, mm. and bluebells uh, and then uh, plant the woodland is the thinking right. um, well come around this way because the yeah, sun's in your sure. eyes yeah. Yeah, yeah so then yeah so plant a woodland where it's a bit more open um, because people are walking through um, I'm not sure what else you could do and it'd be not you know nice yeah, yeah. to have a bit of woodland there's not so much woodland around yeah and can, uh, can I ask a rude question do you actually own all this then yeah, is this yeah, oh, yeah, right, it's wow. quite, well it's uh, down to the river down to the style wow uh, up to the up to the back of the houses up there really so it's, it's about four or five acres which it used to be a farm and the farm used to go all the way out to there but that's now owned you know is properly farm yeah. yeah so yeah you just try and maintain it as a you know habitat and yeah. try and look after it a little bit so and you're um, saying your long-term plan might be trees trees yeah woodland um uh yeah i thought it'd be nice to, to turn this into a bit of a woodland uh, um that would probably be I'll probably be long gone when it's a proper woodland, but be, you know, it's, it's what a, a wonderful it's, legacy. Though. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know, you leave a you leave a little bit of something behind, maybe. Uh, I'm going to say there's not a huge amount of woodland in the Chew Valley because it is very good farmland, and most of it is turned to farming. So, yeah. but it's at the moment it's just uh, slash and burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul is also clearing out some willow, which might seem harsh but he's revealing these old hazels, which have been copsed, a traditional way of quickly growing sustainable wood. So as well as eventually planting new trees, he hopes to revive this ancient woodland management system. <laughs> 